it's the old ferry pilot thing. Right. You know the engine, yeah. you know the airplane. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Sometimes checking out in a new airplane can be intimidating, but not on this day for me. I was headed out to fly a Grumman, and I'd never been in a Grumman before. So when Redwood bus driver Steve Randall called me and asked me if I wanted to come fly his, uh, my first answer was yes. My next question was, what kind of engine does it have? Quick caveat to get out of the way, if you really are checking out in a new airplane, you definitely should read the POH cover to cover before you even show up to fly the machine. Um, don't get caught with your pants down. You really need to know everything in that book. So you can hear okay? Yeah, I can yeah. hear fine. Okay. Yeah, it All sounds right. good. I mean, the, the hearing part's great. <clears throat> this is a lot better than the uh, N95 I was wearing the other day. Right. So you can see here that Steve and I are both wearing cloth masks. These were issued by Alaska Airlines. Um, holy cow, you guys, what a political issue. I had no idea. After the hailstorm of comments from my last video and the mistake that I made about that plastic thing, you know, that's actually an unfiltered exhaust. So um, I really got to the bottom of it. I ended up talking to an aerosol scientist, Lowell Ashbaugh, and the full 30-minute IGTV video is up at Learn the Finer Points. But um, the basic gist of it is, if you're not high risk, you're safe if both people are wearing cloth masks. And if you are high risk, uh, you can fit yourself with an N95. You have to do that properly and don't get the kind with the unfiltered exhaust. Moving on from masks. Uh, I tell you though, it's nice to be flying. Thank you very much for, oh. for offering. Uh, absolutely. I, I've got nothing to do and I've got an airplane in the hangar. <laughs> for those that don't know Steve, he's a former ferry pilot and a current airline captain. Um, this book he wrote, Rubber Suits and Lukewarm Soup, is pretty awesome. I just finished reading it, so I had tons of questions for him while we taxied out. Yeah, I was fascinated to dig into your book last night and just see all those names of people that you knew that yeah. had issues ferry flying. Yeah. Do you know what happened in any of the other circumstances, or do people just tend to disappear if they don't come back? No, no, I mean, most of them have stories. Um, uh, Hardy was the last one. I, I employed Hardy for many fl ferry flights when, when, it was, when things were busy. Right. Because uh, I was just about my own person, but when things were really busy, Hardy was a super reliable, very experienced ferry pilot. And uh, he was taking a, um, a uh, Twin Comanche uh, down through Italy. Yeah, ended up smashing into a mountain. Very silly. While we're talking here, taxiing out, I'm trying to figure out where I need to look. Like, what is the reference that will hold the airplane on the center line? You can see me kind of fishing for it and trying to figure out when I'm there. I'm looking for uh, center line sight. Probably this line right here. That's pretty much. That's so funny. In the Airbus, um, there, I, there's a screw, a flathead screw, funny. and that's my that's my center line. <laughs> that's awesome. It's it doesn't matter what you fly, does it? It's no, all the same. I always tell people, you know, that the secret to flying any airplane is knowing where and when, where to look and when to look there. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. So far, I love the airplane. Eventually, we get out to the runway. We do our engine run up, our pre takeoff briefing, and uh, I'm ready to log my first takeoff in a Grumman. All right, quick briefing here. Uh, we're at runway 30. Um, how long is the runway? Uh, 6,000. Okay, well, we don't need an abort point. No. And uh, we've got wind pretty much directly down the runway, slightly left. 1,000 feet above the airport today is 900 feet. <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> all right, if there's any issues at all today on the runway after rotation or while we're airborne, it's going to be your aircraft, okay? Because. Uh -huh. okay? <clears throat> nearly as familiar. Um, let's do it then. Thermal traffic, Grumman 9 or 9 or 4 3 uniform, taking runway 30 for left downwind departure. All right, so lights we like, cameras on, action is this, final cool. approach path is clear. And it's an automatic transponder with ground speed, so. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. All right, final's clear, and uh, we'll use the whole runway. All right, lining up with the runway, the mag compass, the heading indicator all look good. Are you ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, so power is being applied. All right, power set. Engine gauge is looking good. Airspeed is live. The 
we're born again. I love it. <laughs> That's great. And she flies nice too. Oh, I, I love this little airplane. She's old and she's been abused, but we're bringing her back to life. Yeah, this is great. How fun to be flying again. We left Thermal and headed south. I really wanted to check out the Salton Sea, which is a kind of accidental lake that developers had high hopes for and then abandoned. But we didn't have too much time, so after a quick tour of the north shore of the lake, it was time to head back and log some landings. Um, I was thinking about heading back and doing some landings. Is that oh yeah, sure, different? absolutely, yeah. All right, so here we are at the abeam position. We're a thousand feet up. I'm just gonna go power to idle and see what happens here. Let's go flaps 10, you said. Um, something about one elephant thing and then I, like oh, I see oh yeah look at that <laughs> all right so we've got carb heat on gases on the right tank Ooh, wrong tank oh it's okay it's okay. a it's visually checked it's a dial issue no all right problem. we're a little high i'm gonna go a little more flaps thermal traffic uh grumman niner niner four three uniform is left base to final runway three zero thermal so it's a little confusing. We're not landing here on runway 35. We're uh, not quite that far off. We're actually on a left base for this runway over here, runway 30. What did I miss? Oh, oh the fuel, fuel pump. pump. Thank you. Too many Cessnas. Yeah, right? <laughs> just see how she goes around yeah so as i briefly mentioned to steve this first one is going to be a go around i just want to understand how the airplane takes the power and how it feels as the flaps retract Tower traffic, Cessna 6304 mic taxi to runway 35 from three right on yeah those uh, flaps dippy, yeah yeah <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, and there was actually that's a good course as a uh, coyote running across the runway down there. Nice. Thermal traffic, Grumman 99943 uniform is going around. Left traffic, runway 30. Thermal. I used to have, uh, you know, there's so many tech people in the Bay Area. There's a colleague of mine who used to go around as your default. <laughs> I always <laughs> love that. It's like on any given approach, the default is a go around. <laughs> so this will be a touch and go then. And it's real easy, it's, uh, you know, once you're on the roll, uh, you just reach down and click the flaps all the way to the top and they'll be on their way up. All right, we got speed on target, carb heat's on, gas is on tank, down, mixture's rich. I'm doing all of these approaches power off using the runway numbers as my aiming point. Ah, uh, not on the center, but hey, that's it. Goes up, flaps visually coming up, car beats cold. There's that coyote. Oh, wow, look landing. at that. You got some pressure now. So, that's my runway, buddy. <laughs> uh, really Isn't nice she plane. nice little Yeah, airplane. she really is. <laughs> Well, there's one go around and one decent landing, but left of center line. I thought we'd take it around one more time and try for the perfect landing. And we can fly with the canopy open, so it's, it's quite nice, but it might be quite loud. Right. You, you can actually like open it in flight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> wow, in the so desert, cool. this is, it's like air conditioning. Oh, I love it. That's living large. <laughs> All right, so we're going to runway 35 now? Yeah, I'd say let's do 35, and then we can roll it all the way down and taxi straight into Ross. Perfect. Because of the other traffic on the frequency and the fact that Steve tells me it's going to be a shorter taxi, uh, we make the last landing on runway 35, which also gives me a chance to feel the crosswind. You can see here on final, the nose is pointed slightly left as I crab in on final approach. All right, so we got a little cross, and I'm going to land a little long. If that's yeah, right. yeah, that sounds good, yeah. Ross is uh, all, the, the, all the way at the end on the left, where okay. the corporate jets are. Perfect. Yes, I'll go for that last tax. I mean, the... Uh... Oh, yeah, uh-huh. One time I was flying into McCarran in a Katana DA-20, and I'm keeping 120 on the approach for the jets behind me, so I wasn't a nuisance. Right. And I almost wasn't able to land on a 9,000 foot <laughs> Somewhere about here, you can see me use right rudder and left aileron to straighten the nose and stay over the center line.
Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's the one I was looking for. So let's just kind of summarize that a bit. If you're checking out in a new airplane after you read the POH cover to cover, make sure you understand the engine that you're operating. Um, if you've ever flown that engine before, look back and, and, and build off that experience. Um, even when you're on the ground taxiing out, try to find visual reference points that work for you. You know, the center line is the center line, whether it's a taxiway uh, or a runway. And also remember to take things slow. Maybe your first landing is a go around. Um, go around the first time, see what that feels like, see what the climb performance is like, you know, and then go around and try some where you actually put the wheels on the pavement. Huge thanks to you for watching this video. Big thanks to the sponsors for their support of this show. When you renew your AOPA membership, make sure you select Pilot Protection Services. Also, come to LearnTheFinerPoints.com to get your free gift video, and we will have updates in the next couple days about our airplane camp adventure trips that are happening this summer. Um, maybe not on the dates we planned, but we are working to get those off the ground, so to speak. So anyway, huge thanks to you, the best fans on the internet, for watching this video. I'm Jason Miller. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and most importantly, until next time, be safe and fly your best.